give it currently and i am going to present a presentation on the topic total productive maintenance under the guidance of mr sanjay kumar engage sir so let's see what are the contents of today's presentation so what is tpm what are the eight pillars of tpm different types of maintenance and what are the benefits of implementing tpm so here we go what the what the term tpm means the tpm means total productive maintenance which helps in achieving zero accidents zero breakdown and zero defects in an organization so if you are not utilizing tpm in your company this could be a solution to move forward towards these goals of zero defects zero accidents and zero breakdown so the tpm is basically an acronym where t stands for total in which all the individuals in the organization working together for a common goal p stands for productive that means production of goods that meet or exceed customer expectations and m stands for maintenance in which keeping equipment and plant in good condition at all times so the main objective of tpm is to increase the overall equipment effectiveness that is oee which is the primary metric to gauge the tpm performance the goal of tpm is to drive the waste to zero that is zero accidents zero breakdown zero defects and zero waste so let's see what are the eight pillars of tpm so they are as first autonomous maintenance second plan maintenance third quality maintenance fourth focus maintenance fifth early equipment maintenance sixth training and education seventh health safety and environment and last tpm in administration so just like the physical structure starts with the grounded framework building a strong tpm process requires a strong foundation in the form of is the goal of is is to create a work environment that is clean and well organized hence the eight pillars are built on this foundation of is so let's see one by one what are the pillars or what do you mean by the each pillar so first autonomous maintenance this is the maintenance task and caring for the equipment so start with people who actually using the equipment such as cleaning lubricating and inspection it identifies emergent issues before they actually cause any failure second plan maintenance so plan maintenance activities are essential on the prevention of equipment breakdown so what it does is significantly reduces the instant of unplanned stop time let's see the third pillar quality maintenance to ensure the satisfaction of customer manufacturing process come from zero defect process the goal of the quality maintenance is to identify an any possible cause of deviation from zero defect production so what it does is it reduces the number of defects such uh, reduces the cost by catching the defects let's see the fourth pillar focused improvement what it does it is includes recurring problems are identified and resolved by the cross functional teams next is the fifth pillar early equipment management that is the directly practical knowledge and understanding of manufacturing equipment gained through tpm towards improving the design of new equipment what it does is the new equipment reaches the planned performance level much faster due to the fewer startup issues so the sixth pillar is training and education so the idea behind tpm is that everyone does their part to contribute the overall productivity of a production process in order to achieve the optimum performance and to build each member's competence proper training is required let's see the seventh safety health and environment it focuses on creating a safe workplace the essence of this pillar is recognized when actively applied to each of the other pillars so the last one tpm in administration a key role that is often overlooked in the administration department that works behind the scenes like the rest of the production team and the process management and the administration functions are also subjected to the productivity improvement so let's see what are the types of maintenance there are basically two types of maintenance corrective maintenance and preventive maintenance uh, corrective maintenance is implemented right after the defect has been detected on the piece of equipment or the production line and preventive maintenance it is aimed at catching or fixing the problem before that happens in corrective maintenance there are two types uh, immediate maintenance and deferred maintenance and in preventive also there are two types uh, condition based and predetermined so let's talk about what are the benefits of tpm uh, less unplanned maintenance less downtime safer work environment lower production cost measurable results and reduce accidents thank you